This video will demonstrate the procedure for applying the double all-flex tags, which are approved for registration of lands. These double tags meet the criteria for traceability so that no additional requirements must be met for shipping lambs. The Canadian Sheep Breeders Association requires that all purebred lambs born in Canada be individually identified with the management tag of the producer's choosing, or paired tags, within 48 hours of birth. By 100 days of age, or earlier if required by provincial legislation, each lamb born in any year must be either tattooed or tagged using the approved double tagging system. It is not necessary to use double tags and tattoos, however, if both are used, the tag number and tattoos must be marked on the registration paper. The equipment required for the double all-flex tags must include the electronic tag and the visual tag, the all-flex tag pliers with the new grey insert, and the spare pin. The electronic tag with the microchip must be placed in the right ear of the lamb while the visual tag, without the microchip, must be placed in the left ear of the lamb. Different working tools, such as a working box or a mobile table, can be used to help facilitate the work of permanent identification. Here are the rules for a proper use of the all-flex tag pliers. Insert the male part of the electronic tag in the spike and slide the female part under the clip. Repeat with the male part and the female part of the visual tag. Make sure that the male parts of the tag are well aligned with the female parts. Do not handle the male part of the tag to reduce the risk of infection. Confirm that both tags bear the same number before application. It is preferable to tag lambs at a young age, ideally less than 10 days old. Young lambs move less and are easier to hold, so the risk of injury or tearing during tagging is lower. Now let us see the steps for successfully inserting sheep tags. First, hold the lamb gently but securely between your knees. Use your free hand for tag application. Tags should be applied so that the point, the male part, is inserted from the outside to the inside. Tags that are put in upside down might rotate in the ear and result in irritation or infection. This could increase the risk of loss or tearing. Do not pull the applicator back. This can cause the point to bend. Keep forward pressure while applying the tag. The electronic tag should be applied one quarter of the way from the ear to the head, while the visual tag should be applied one third of the way from the head. They should be placed on the upper edge of each ear, allowing room for growth. Let the tag hang four to five millimeters over the edge of the ear when applying it to lambs. Avoid piercing the ridges of cartilage in the ear, as this may deform the ear and may also result in infection. It is very important that the electronic tag be placed in the right ear and the visual tag be placed in the left ear. When you are finished tagging, close the plastic bag containing the tags to avoid getting dust on them. For registered purebred sheep, it should be noted that in the event of a lost tag, the tag must be replaced within 21 days with a duplicate tag bearing the same national ID number. Double tags must identify the animal throughout its life. For breeders in Quebec, replacement tags must be ordered from AgriTraceability Quebec, while in other provinces, they must be ordered from the Canadian Sheep Breeders Association. The tag should be stored in the original zipper lock bag with the top sealed, or inside a plastic food container with a sealable lid kept closed. The tag should be kept in a warm, dry place, out of direct sunlight. When finished tagging, animals must be registered through Canadian Livestock Records Corporation. Electronic registration is preferred, however paper registration is also possible. On the registration form, be sure to complete the proper sections for identification. Whatever form of ID is in the animal's ears must match the registration form. 